Hello everyone, this is Dr. Mustafa Sheikh from Dentalist. In the previous video, we discussed about dental plaque, how it's formed and how it contributes to the formation of dental caries. In this video, we'll talk about the classification of dental caries and that will help you in making accurate clinical diagnosis and also in formulating treatment plans. The most important, widely used and extensively accepted uh, classification of dental caries is the GV Black's classification. As you would have guessed by now, GV Black is the name of the scientist who actually came up with this classification. So there are a total number of six classes in the GV Black's classification and we'll look at them one by one. First of all, it's class one when the caries is present on the pits and fissure surfaces of the posterior molars or uh, to make it extensive uh, on the occlusal surface of the posterior teeth, okay? And that would also include the buccal and lingual pits and fissures, the pits and fissures that are extending towards the buccal and lingual side uh, from the occlusal. That would also be covered in class one. Moving on, talking about class two, class two is basically the proximal surfaces of the posterior teeth. When the curious lesion is present on the proximal surface of posterior teeth, you would call it as class two. So class one is what? The occlusal surface of the posterior and class two is the proximal surface of the posterior. It could be mesial or it could be distal. Proximal is either mesial or distal. All right, now class three is basically the proximal surface of the anterior teeth but the incisal edge is not involved in this. Now talk about class four. Class four involves the incisal, for example, this is the tooth, the incisal and the proximal surface of the anteriors. Now class five is the easiest. It would cover any carious lesion that you find on the cervical surface. The cervical surface of any tooth that has the carious lesion and would come under what? Class 5. Class 6 is only handy when the carious lesion is present on the cusp tips of the posteriors or the incisal tips of the anteriors. The areas that come in contact with the other teeth. Okay? Or in other words, the top surfaces of the tooth, if are found carriers would come under class six. All right, now since you're done with the GV Black classification of dental caries, let's quickly uh, go through that. I'll take a small test and I'll see if you've got what I've taught today. So you will see a jumbled series of pictures in the upcoming few seconds. And those pictures will be labeled as A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. What you have to do is in the comment section below, you have to tell me what class is the A picture, what class is the B one, and so on. gets all of these correct in the comment section first we'll get a giveaway from the dentalist let's keep it interesting and I'll see you again in the next lecture it will be a series of um, discussion about dental caries for a while so just stick with me and there are more interesting topics coming up this is dr. Sheikh saying goodbye to you take care till we meet again <laughs>